Okay, my dear students, I hope you're doing very good. Hello, Sandra, Dana, Sylvia, Nasli, Martha, Sebastian, and Fabian. I hope you are doing really good today. I want to welcome you guys to our first class, you know, from this English course, English Does Work, level five. Okay, so my dear students, Today, we are going to split the class into three big parts, okay? Three parts. The first part is going to be about getting to know each other, you know, names and stuff, okay? The second part is going to be like just reviewing the platform, like an overview, because I think you have already worked on the platform. Si están en nivel 5, creo que ya han trabajado y conocen la plataforma. Si no, pues vamos a mirar y hacemos un pequeño, una pequeña revisadita. You know, like the most important things. And finally, we are going to work on some of the topics. Basically, I want to focus today on comparative and superlative, maybe. Like comparative. And uh, that's it. Okay. Cool. Guys. Let's start, let's start by getting to know each other a little bit, okay? I do not recognize any names, so I think this is our first class. I mean, with you. We, we haven't met in other courses. Okay, guys, listen. I want you, I want my students, you guys, I want you to ask me questions about who I am. You know, because you don't know me. Ustedes no me conocen, creo. And I don't know you, I guess. You know? So, first, what would you like to know about me? What would you like to know about your teacher? What would you like to know? ¿Qué les gustaría saber? ¿Qué les gustaría preguntar al profesor? About me, you know? Not about the class. No, la, de la clase todavía no. About your teacher. What would you like to know about me? In English. Hello, teacher. Hello, Martha. Hey, how are you? I'm good. You? Fine, thank you. Nice. Uh, where do you live now? I am living in Villa Vicencio. And you? Uh, I am living in Funza Comida, Mark. Mm. That's good. Funza. What, what about the weather in Funza? Is it cold? It's in Savannah of Bogota. Oh, yeah, it must be cold a little bit. Yeah, it's cold, you know? It's cold, yes. Good. Good. Martha, I, are you from there or are you from a different city? I'm from there because I pensioned. Oh, you're, you're retired. Yes. You are retired. That's nice. Good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, so Martha lives in Funza and Leonardo lives in Villa Vicencio. More questions? More questions, more questions, more questions. More, 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 Do more. Do you live alone or with another people? I live by myself. Just me and my dog. Mm, I have a dog. You, Sebastian, do you live by yourself? No, I live with my parents and my two sisters. That's good. Okay, that's good. Good. Where are you from, Sebastian? I'm from Bogota, but I live in Pacho. In what? I am from Bogota, but I am living in Pacho, Cundinamarca. Pacho. Yes, 10 years ago. Okay, nice. Is it near Bogota? Pacho. Mm, más o menos una hora y media. Okay, one hour, one hour and a half from Bogota. Okay, cool. Do you like it? Yes. Cool, that's great. Excellent, that's good. Uh, more questions? More questions, more questions. Come on. 
Come on, guys, you can do it. I want you to talk. Questions, questions. Have you traveled to another country? I have. Yeah, I have been in different countries. Yeah, United States, Canada, uh, Dominican Republic, and Spain, mm, Mexico. That's great. Ah, I love to travel. I wish I could do it more. If I had more money, I would travel more. Yeah. More questions? Other people? No se preocupen si su nivel de inglés no es tan bueno. Lo importante es hablar, tratar. Don't worry. Really? No more questions? Oh, come on. What I do you do? How old are you? Okay, Fabian, thank you. I am 34 years old. And you, Fabian, how old are you? I am 39 years old. 39 years old. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Um, Fabian, where do you live? I live in Nemocon, Cundinamarca. Near to Bogota. Cool. How, how far away is it from Bogota? What? How far away is Nemocon from uh, Bogota? So one, two, two, two hours. Two hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds, sounds. Okay. Fabian, what do you do for a living? Uh, I am pharmacist and therapist. That's nice. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. In a pharmacy. Okay. Nice, that's cool. Two more questions. Do you practice any sport? I do practice um, some in sports. I have always practiced sports ever since I was a little kid. Um, right now, I like to run, you know, run, run. And I like, all. I practice CrossFit. I don't know if you I don't know if you know what CrossFit is. Have you ever heard about CrossFit? Yeah, it. CrossFit is nice. Yeah, it's I like it. I've been yeah. practicing CrossFit for about ten years. Oof, uh, yeah. Yeah, ten years. It's yeah, I like to run. I like to practice CrossFit. I like to swim as well. I love swimming. It's very nice. And no more. I like to travel. That is my favorite sport. If traveling like uh, wear sport, that would be my favorite. One more question. Una pregunta más. What food do you like the most from this country you went to? Ah, food. Mm, that is a very speaky topic. Es un tema bien complicated. Because mm. I think, I don't know, I love Colombian food. You know, American food is not that good. Mexican food is very spicy. So I love spiciness, but like that spicy, mm, I don't know. Canada is like, I know, I mean, like, if you are Colombian, you gotta love your food. Like, Colombian food is so good. Maybe food in Dominican Republic is very similar to Colombian one because it's like the Caribbean region. So mm, it's good. But my favorite, Colombian food. I mean, like nothing like that. The food Colombia is great. It's great. It's great. I've it's never... a good country. It's a very good country. I love my country. I love my country. I have family in the States. Yo tengo familia en los Estados Unidos, in Houston, Texas. I lived in Houston for a while. Yo viví allá por un tiempo. But nah, my family is like, why don't you come here? Porque no te vienes a vivir aquí. I'm like, mm, mm. I go and visit, you know? And that's it. No more. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Okay, guys. It's very nice to have you here. Um, I think it's enough time. I'm going to introduce myself just a little bit, you know, just for you to get like broad information about me. Hello, everyone. My name is Leonardo Santos. I am going to be, I work for Sena. 
and I'm gonna be your teacher here for this course, you know. I'm gonna help you. Les voy a ayudar en el proceso de inglés 5, right? En el curso. I am 34 years old. I am from Huila, but I live in Villavicencio. I was born and raised in Campo Alegre, Huila, but I'm living in Villavicencio right now. I work for Sena, I work for Universidad de Los Llanos, I work for Ariandina as well. And um, I have a pet. Her name is Lola. She's a dog. She is seven years old and I love her so much. I live alone. I'm single. Um, what else? I do practice sports, you know. And that's it. That's me. That's me. It's very nice to meet you, okay? So I hope you enjoy your stay here. And that's it. Excellent. That's nice. Good. So now we're going to continue with the second part of the class, okay? The second part of the class, it's about the platform to get to know it, right? La segunda parte de la clase tiene que ver con... Eh, conocer un poquito la plataforma my question is guys, do you know the platform? ¿conocen la plataforma? ¿ya la han trabajado antes or not? definitely like no yes yes, yes, yes. all of you? yes ok, cool is there anyone here hay alguien aquí que nunca la haya trabajado No? Okay, that's perfect. So it means that you have already you have already worked on that, which is good. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go with a quick overview of the platform because remember that this session is being recorded and other students, other um yeah, other students here are gonna get the recording. So maybe if I have someone who has never worked on it, so we need to do it. Okay. Voy a tomar un tiempito que me toca hacerlo ya que de pronto en una un estudiante que esté cursando este nivel y nunca haya visto clases con el SENA va a quedar perdido. Entonces por requerimiento me toca hacerlo. Okay? I know you have already worked on that, so it's cool. But anyways, look, I'm going to try to be quick. Okay? Voy a tratar de ser lo más rápido posible para poder entrar a trabajar un poquito en lo otro. Ok. Ok. So, my dear students, remember, this is the platform that you're going to be working on. The name of the platform is Territorium. Territorium, like that, you know? So, um, you need to get there. You can Google it, you know, Territorium. You Google it and stuff, and you're going to get to your course. This is English Does Work Level 5, okay? And that is the homepage. So I'm going to go to a student view. Guys, listen. What are some of the things that you need to know? Voy a hablar de lo que ustedes necesitan saber básicamente. You don't need to know anything like all, all, all from, from like this platform. Just important things. Give me a second que alguien por aquí está solicitando acceso. Okay. So here we have, this is the main menu. Look, this is the main menu. You are going to have. The only things that you're going to be needing is announcement or anuncios, you know. Participants, you don't need that much. Information, okay, you can get it. Contenido del curso, you need that a lot. Photos, you need it. Evidences, you need it. And you're going to also need calificaciones. Basically, those are the five things that you're going to be needing the most. Okay, so lo que más van a necesitar ustedes. So, I'm going to start with announcements. Okay, in this section of the announcements or anuncios, you know, you're going to have every single announcement that I post. Aquí yo les voy a postear la información más importante, right? Everything. Todo lo que yo poste aquí, you're going to have it on your email accounts, like a copy, right? Todo lo que yo poste aquí le va a llegar una copia a su correo electrónico, al que tienen registrado cuando hicieron el proceso de registro, valga la redundancia. Okay, so guys, important here, 
yesterday I sent the first um, announcement with very specific and important information. Remember, this is this is the first announcement, el primero que les envié ayer. The name of the course is English Does Work Level 5. And this is the ficha number, right? Es muy importante que uh, ese número de ficha lo tengan en cuenta para cuando vayan a escribir un correo o algo para yo poderlos identificar en qué curso está y no estar buscándolos en todos, ¿ok? Look, my name, my name is Oscar Leonardo Santos. You know, everybody calls me Leo, so you can call me Leonardo, Leo, Oscar, is up to you. How are we going to get in touch, right? ¿Cómo nos vamos a mantener en comunicación? Look, there are three options. Tres opciones. One, two, three. The first one, the email account. Okay? You can email me whenever you want, ask your questions, and I will reply your email maximum 24 hours after I receive it. Okay? So my email is olsantos2 at misena.edu.co. You can see it on the screen. First. Second, we have a forum. You know, there is the questions and concern forum. El foro de preguntas e inquietudes. It's on the platform. That is the second one. And the third one, it's here. Look, can you see here on the top? Pueden ver aquí en la parte de arriba que hay un envelope. Es como un, un sobre. You click there and you can send also messages to me. Those are the three ways of communication. Got it? That's it. Okay. Teacher, do we have WhatsApp group? No, we don't have a WhatsApp group. Okay, no WhatsApp group. Those are the institutional um, communication means. Okay, three. Cool. Guys, another important thing. Fechas de inicio, de cierre de curso y de cierre de recepción de actividades o de evidencias. So this course, the entire course, all the course, all, it started yesterday, the 4th of September, you know, empezó ayer, the 4th of September, and it's going to be closed, you know, end the 5th of October, va de 4 a 5, 4 de septiembre a 5 de octubre, el 5 de octubre, closed, we close it up, ya se cierra, nadie puede ingresar, nada, el 5. However, guys, bear in mind this. Tengan en cuenta esto. La fecha fin o límite para que ustedes envíen sus evidencias de cualquier semana, sin importar cómo está en el cronograma, right? um, es el 3 de octubre, que es un martes. The 4th and the 5th of October, el 4 y el 5 de octubre, Basically, all uh, like uh, professors, teachers, we have those two days to close everything up, you know. Nosotros esos dos días, en este caso 5 y 6, lo utilizamos para hacer el debido cierre del curso. Calificar lo que ustedes envían, enviar los reportes al centro, hacerles saber quiénes pasan, cómo descargar su certificado, um, subir los papeles que tenemos que subir a la plataforma, because, you know, like paperwork, paperwork. Todo el papeleo. So, it's demanding. So, it's two days. Okay? And that's it. So, remember, hasta el 3 de octubre tienen plazo para enviar sus evidencias. Okay? So, simple. That. Good. Yesterday, I also sent another info, right? Another announcement. Basically, that was like, okay, you need to revise this. Eso fue como que, bueno, hay una información muy importante aquí en el curso. Me gustaría que la revisaran. ¿Cuál es? Información general, de qué trata el curso, cuál es, la, cuál es la competencia, los resultados de aprendizaje, cuánto tiempo, bla, 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 bla. And here you have the, la ruta, you know, like how to get there, how to get it, menú principal, herramientas, contenido del curso, proyecto, bla, bla, you follow it, allá les muestro. Uf, this is very important, the timetable or the schedule, schedule or in Spanish, cronograma, you know, it's like dates. Um, evidence one, the first one goes from this day to that day. The second one from that, 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 you know, las fechas de inicio y de cierre de cada una de las actividades. Guys, listen, this is not mandatory. Este cronograma y las fechas que están allí no son, ¿cómo los diría yo? No, o sea, eh, mm, son sugeridas, 
son sugeridas. Todos ustedes pueden enviar cualquier evidencia de cualquier semana hasta el 3 de octubre. Mi consejo, if you ask me, I would say follow the schedule. Muchos me dicen, profe, ¿usted qué aconseja? Ah, yo dejo todo para lo último. Guys, mm, no. No les aconsejo que hagan eso. Why? Why, 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 why? Many people that do that, they don't have time to cover all of the evidences. Muy posiblemente, si dejen todo por lo último, no van a tener tiempo para cubrir todas las cuatro evidencias. Second. Segundo. If you need, if there is something bad, maybe that you didn't understand or you didn't approve any uh, evidence, you won't have time to correct. Si es, me vean todo el tres, ¿sí? eh, obviamente yo no, no es que ustedes me envíen y yo vaya a estar ahí, ahí ay, me enviaron, voy a calificar. No, 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 yo tengo un tiempo para calificar según el tiempo que yo tengo disponible. Si me envían eso el tres a las 8 de la noche, seguramente yo no voy a estar ahí disponible para calificar. Y ya se pasó así, porque ya el 4 hasta ahí quedó, ¿right? Pero si me envían eso con tiempo, siguiendo el cronograma, ¡Ey, le quedó mal! ¿Corrija? Perfecto. Ustedes pueden corregir las evidencias cuantas veces quieran y se necesite, ¿right? Pero con tiempo. Si dejan todo para lo último, I'm sorry. ¿Ok? Manual del aprendiz y la participación en el foro social. You know, it's good. Things. It's like, okay, do that, revisen esa información, bla, bla, bla. I sent another announcement, you know, yesterday, les envié otro ayer. Here it was like, okay, there are three things that you need to do. Those are not gradable, but you need to do it, right? Estas tres actividades no son calificables, pero son muy importantes, son muy importantes que las haga, que las hagan, okay? Um, look, it's called prior activities o actividades iniciales. Basically, there are three. Actualización de datos personales, tomar un pequeño examen diagnóstico que no se califica simplemente para darnos a nosotros un overview, una vista general de cómo ingresan, and la participación en el foro social, you know? So, those are going to be available from yesterday until next Sunday, the 10th, okay? And that's it. Es súper importante y lo que más me importa es la actualización de datos. Si hay algún error como ustedes escriben su nombre, si sí, me llamo Jessica, pero mi nombre es con J en mi cédula y ahí está con Y. Uh, look, I need to work on that because I'm going to get the certificate like that. Mi certificado, si apruebo, me va a salir con ese error. Entonces, mm -mm, ok, revise that. Ya les muestro que ahí tienen el tutorial sobre cómo hacerlo. Ok. And finally, I posted, uh, ok, that was yesterday, invitation here, you know, for the web Conference, and I posted this one today, like two hours ago. Este lo puse hace como dos horas. It was like, uh, like letting you know, guys, today we start the first evidence. Hoy empezamos la primera evidencia, you know. It started today, and it goes until this coming Sunday. Tienen desde hoy hasta este domingo que viene. So you have, today is Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have five days to work on it according to the according to the schedule. De acuerdo al cronograma sugerido, recuerden que ustedes tienen más tiempo, pero de acuerdo al cronograma sugerido tienen hasta este domingo 10 de septiembre. ¿Para qué? Para trabajar en la primera actividad. Test. It's a test. You know, you don't have to work on anything. You don't need to send anything. You just need to take the test. Deben tomar un test. No tienen que enviar ningún archivo, hacer ningún papel, infografía. No. Just like taking the test. But, guys, listen. You need to study something first. Necesitan estudiar algo primero antes de tomar el test. Right? Háganlo, estudien porque es sobre, ese test tiene mucho comparativo y superlativo. Y hay una regla que ustedes necesitan saber para hacerlo good. ¿Ok? So you click on that, sorry, you follow the, you know, resultado de aprendizaje de esa primera actividad, ese test, la ruta, donde la encuentro, and blah, 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 blah. Okay? So, that's it. That is the first one, that is announcements, announcements, anuncios. Uh, here, contenido del curso. So I'm going to click here, contenido del curso. 
and you're gonna go on project project okay you're gonna need all of this van a necesitar todo esto okay información general okay what is this about de qué se trata el curso you know everything importante que sepan cómo moverse aquí look you have you have two documents diseño curricular e información del programa but if you click on it on it look it does not happen like you know nothing happens nada, na, nada pasa here eso es el menú arrow here flechita para un lado so you got the first document click and it opens you know diseño and so on the other one you got the one okay the other one okay it's good so that's it then you need cronograma guys you need to take a look at this necesitan echarle un vistazo a esto it's very important you know look you have dates you have everything tienen todo las fechas de inicio de la actividad la fecha de cierre las fechas de las conferencias look today today is the fifth es el 5 3 p.m you know de qué va a ser de bienvenida y test um, la primera evidencia okay all of that you have everything if you wanna download it si lo quieren bajar también lo pueden hacer you click here para acceder al documento descargable click here y ahí me descarga el documento okay el archivo this is good perfect then you need actividades iniciales basically these are the three activities that i told you that you must do they are not gradable no son calificables pero tienen que hacerlas cuáles son actualización de datos diagnóstico y participación en el foro social the same here you go with the arrows and you have all of them look all of them you know here here okay that's it ¿Cuándo vencen esas actividades? ¿Quién me dice cuándo vencen? ¿De acuerdo al cronograma? 10 de septiembre. Correct, Marta. Thank you very much. This coming Sunday, the 10th of September. Okay, very good. So you continue. And here, guys, you have the most important part. Okay, look. The first document, I always say to my students, guys, that guía de aprendizaje is like your Bible or whatever, whatever sacred, you know, book that you believe in. Cualquier libro sagrado que crean, si es la Biblia o Corán o whatever, you know, depende de las creencias de cada uno. It's like, you need to read it. Necesitan leerla. Esa guía es, it's like guidance. Es como el manual. Compran una nevera y ahí está el manual. Okay. So you click here, okay? Look, the first part is a little bit boring, to be honest, you know, it's like, not boring, it's like, people don't read it that much, you know? So it's like, nombre del curso, la competencia, los resultados, cuánto tiempo se supone que van a hacer este curso, la presentación, los temas de qué va a tratar, Tan, tan, everything, bla, 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 here, you know, hagan la actualización de datos, tomen la encuesta, eh, el diagnóstico, revisen el cronograma, la, vi, la guía, el foro social, le dan un ejemplito del cronograma, bla, 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 hay una reflexión inicial, that is not gradable, simplemente si la quieren hacer, Good, continue, blah, 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 and here it goes, okay? Aquí ya comenzamos a hablar de actividades, you know? So, this is A2, según el marco, como en europeo, es A2, el nivel 5. You continue, and here we start, okay? Look, la evidencia se llama evidencia test, right? Test English does work five. It's about reading and listening, right? Me van a evaluar lectura y escucha, ¿ok? Si voy un poquito más arriba, me dice que yo debo estudiar el, form el, el material formativo o el material de estudio que se llama You're the best. You're the best. 
Tú eres el mejor. You're the best. ¿Ok? So, I need to study it. Lo estudio primero. Por eso va antes. Lo estudio primero. And then, I go and take the test. Y ahí sí voy, tomo el test. ¿Ok? Look. ¿Quién me va a evaluar? Dice. Me, lo voy a leer tal cual está. Mediante la presentación de esta evidencia, el aprendiz puede demostrar su competencia para señalar semejanzas y diferencias entre seres vivos, objetos o lugares al resaltar sus características utilizando adjetivos calificativos en sus diferentes grados de comparación o en grado superlativo. ¿Qué es eso? Comparative and superlative. For example, I don't know. Uh, comparative. I take, you know, and I try to state the differences or similarities of things. Right? Establecer las diferencias o las similitudes entre dos cosas, you know? For example, I don't know, like these two, you know, what are the differences and similarities, you know, las diferencias o similitudes, okay? So I could say, this one is larger, is más largo, this one is smaller, you know, es una diferencia, okay? Um, what else? Ahora, eso es comparar, superlative. Eso es resaltar, you know, like decir, digamos que acá tenga otro, let me get another one, get me one sec, get me one sec. Look, for example, this one, you know, I have three, you know, this one, ¿cuál es el más largo? This one, so this is the largest, right, es el más largo de todos. That is a superlative. Comparative and superlative. Other example. Otro ejemplo. I could say, Camila is more beautiful than Sofia. Camila is more beautiful than Sofia. Oh, Camila es más bonita que Sofia. But, si yo digo, Camila is the most beautiful girl in my class. Ah, Camila es la chica más linda de mi clase. Ah, la estoy resaltando. Eso, eso es superlativo. ¿Ok? So, in that material, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get the differences, you know, between those stuff. ¿Ok? So, continue. And, uh, look, ¿qué es lo que se pretende entregar para esta evidencia? You don't need to hunt anything. Just take the, tomar el cuestionario. You know? Es de verdadero, falso, de emparejar y de completar. You have 30 minutes, 30 minutos para resolverlo. And that's it. No more. That's all that you need to do. Okay? So, that's it. Look, ¿dónde está lo que yo debo estudiar? Here. Look, it says, componente formativo, you are the best. This is for this week. This es para esta semana. The next one is for the next one, like two weeks from now. And this one is for week number three and four. Okay? So, let's review it. Revisamos un poquito. You're the best. Look, first we start, empezamos un poquito with present, uh, um, present simple or simple present. You know, we start with that. Lo que hacemos en el día a día. Things like that. So, you click here. You go with here, you know. You already know this material, you know. We have some examples. We have audios. All good, you know. All good. Ya ustedes están familiarizados con este material. So you need to study it. Remember, guys, at the end, at the end, at the end, always at the end, you're going to have a, an activity. You know, these activities are not gradable. Esas actividades no son calificables. Okay, it's just for you to practice, 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 practice. Okay, that's cool. The same here, 
qualifying adjective, you know, aquí es donde viene lo de comparar. Primero me explican un poquito el adjetivo. El adjetivo es like a quality, you know. Um, degrees uh, of the adjective. There is a video. I work on the video. I have examples. And then we got comparisons. Y después tenemos las comparaciones. Empezamos de poquito a poquito con lo más fácil. More, less, you know, más, menos. More water, less water, you know. And then we go little by little, little by little. We go with those very, you know, like, um, how would I say that? Like, it gets complicated a little bit, you know, just a little bit. So those rules and stuff, you review it. It's good. It's very well explained. And we have the activity there at the end. Okay. And that's it. We have like the um, synthesis. It's like uh, the um, recap. Como el resumen de lo que se hace. Okay. Good. So the same here. Right. ¿Cómo envió la evidencia? Simple. You can come here. Actividad de aprendizaje 1. If you want. You know. You come here. O van por evidencias. It's up to you. Aquí está la primera. Recuerden que la primera no es enviar. Es tomar el examen. You know, here, whenever you are ready, you take it. Preguntas, go. Okay. Here, look, it says sesiones en línea. Here, you're going to have two folders. Los enlaces de las sesiones y las grabaciones. If I click on enlaces, le va a aparecer la invitación a esta conferencia. Mañana a las horas de la tarde van a tener, aquí lo de clic en grabaciones ahora no hay nada. Mañana van a tener el link de esta grabación. Ok, this one. And that's it. Basically, that's all that you need to do. Ok. So far, so far, guys, so far, muchachos, hasta ahora, do you have any questions? No, Mr. Santos, thank you. Ok, cool, perfect. So, now we're going to have and work for 20 minutes, you know. I want to show you, I want to show you a, I want to show you a video. Remember, you're going to work on comparative and superlative, you know. I think for today's class, we're going to work on comparative, okay. Vamos a, ver, a mirar un videito sobre comparativos and then we work on an exercise, right. Y les voy a dar un video sobre los superlativos para que ustedes lo repasen. Ok. Look, I'm going to share my screen with you right now. Good. So, this is about comparative. Can you see it? So, there we go. Listen. Adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Adjectives can give us information such as the size or age of a noun. Adjectives can also tell us someone's opinion about a noun or describe how someone is feeling. So basically, an, ad an adjective, it's, it describes... The nouns, right? Un adjetivo me describe a una persona, una cosa, right? Big, small, beautiful, interesting, right? Algo o alguien interesante, you know? It describes people, things, places. Me describe personas, lugares, cosas, adjectives. We use comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. Comparative adjectives tell us how one noun is different from the other. For example, she is taller than him. So, look at the example. She is taller. Tall, grande. Bueno, no es grande, alta o alto. Tall. Taller. Más alto o más alta. En español utilizamos el más. En inglés también, pero no siempre. Aquí es 
taller. Taller. This painting is more beautiful than that painting. More beautiful. My brother looks happier than my sister. <laughs> happier. <laughs> How are comparative adjectives formed in English? It depends on how many syllables the adjective has. Important. Esto es crucial. It's important. When we are going to use comparative adjectives, we need to take into account, necesitamos tener en cuenta, we need to take into account syllables. Syllables. Las sílabas. ¿Cuántas sílabas? How many syllables does the comparative have? For example, uh, beautiful. Tiene tres sílabas. Beautiful, right? Tall. No más tiene una. Tall. For one syllable adjectives, we add er to the adjective. For example, short becomes shorter. If the adjective ends in a consonant-vowel-consonant pattern, we double the final consonant before adding er. For example, big becomes bigger. First rule, primera regla. When the adjective has one syllable, one, tiene una sola sílaba, o sea, es cortico, you know, we add er al final. Short, una sola sílaba, short. Si no dicen sh no, short. Short, shorter. Big, bigger. Se le dobla la última sílaba. ¿Por qué? Why? Because it ends in consonant, vowel consonant. Porque tiene una sílaba y la última letra es una consonante. Antes de esa consonante hay una vocal y, des y antes de esa vocal hay otra consonante. Es decir, es cortico, tiene una sílaba. Y hay una vocal en medio de dos consonantes. Por eso se le dobla la última consonante. En este caso es una G, una G. Big, bigger. For two syllable adjectives that end in Y, we change Y to I and add ER. For example, hungry becomes hungrier and noisy becomes noisier. Good. Now, two syllables. Adjectives with two syllables but ending in Y. Adjetivos que terminan en, que, perdón, que tienen dos sílabas, pero que terminan en Y. ¿Qué pasa? I change, I drop the Y, I press it for an I, and I add ER. Hungry, hungrier. Noisy, noisy. Dos sílabas. I'm hungry, noisy. Noisier. For adjectives that are two syllables or more, we use the word more before the adjective. For example, modern becomes more modern and expensive becomes more expensive. Now, two, three, four, five um, syllables, you know, but not ending in Y. Las de dos que no terminan en Y, los adjetivos que no terminan en Y, dos, tres, cuatro, five, six, I mean, whatever, you know, we add more. More, more. Ahí se queda como el español. More, más, more, you know. Here. That is the big rule. Esa es la gran regla, you know. One syllable. Two syllables. Ending in Y. Two, three, four, five syllables. Blah, 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 blah. That is the big rule. But there are some exceptions. Hay cuatro excepciones, cuatro, tres exceptions. Listen, donde no aplica esa regla. Comparative adjectives in English don't follow the usual rules. For example, the adjective good becomes better in the comparative form. Good. Good tiene una sola sílaba. Good. But the comparative, el comparativo no es gooder. No. No, no, no. It changes. Better. Se dicen que son irregulares porque no siguen la regla. Good, better. Bad becomes worse. Bad is not better con doble D, no. It's worse. And far becomes farther or further. 
far que es lejos, it has two possible options. With A, farther, or, or with U, further. Farther, further. The most common sentence pattern for comparative adjectives in English is subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than that is plus grammar. object. Yeah, that is grammar. That is not, you know, like... Let's look at some examples of comparative adjectives in a sentence. Examples. The blue house is bigger than the yellow house. The blue house is bigger than the yellow house. I don't say more big. No, no, no. Bigger. Rock music is better than classical music. Better. My dog is lazier than my cat. Lazier. Lazy. The lazier. singer is more famous than the actor. Famous. More famous. My boots are more expensive than your shoes. Expensive. Three. More. Practice time. Look at the adjective. Say or write the comparative adjective. For example, is an example, okay? So listen, then I want you to give me the answers. The first one is an example. After that, we're gonna work as a class and you're gonna give me the answers. Tall. Taller. Okay. Now you try. Careful. How many syllables? ¿Cuántas sílabas? Two. Two. Care full. So, what is the comparative? More careful. Mm, let's see. Careful. More careful. Very good. Next. Good. Better. 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 Very good. That is irregular. It's irregular. Better. Very good. Noisy. How many syllables? ¿Cuántas sílabas? Two. Two. Noisy. Noisier, very good, porque terminan, tiene dos, pero termina en Y, noisier, noisier. How many syllables? Three. Three, what are those? ¿Cuáles son? Dangerous. Very good. Dangerous. Very good. So, what is the comparative? More dangerous. More dangerous. Very good. Bad. Worse. Worse. It's irregular. It's irregular. No, it's badder. No, it's worse. Thanks good. for watching. Excellent. It's good. It's very, very good. So, now, uh, here goes. Look, I'm going to send you this link. Unfortunately, we're about to finish. Infortunadamente, el tiempo vuela. I'm going to explain what you are going to do with this exercise. Look, I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you this, this link. It's like an online game. It says compare. We're going to go with start. Vamos a empezar, right? Start. You can play categories. Animals, si no le gustan animals, you go with people, you know, or you go with uh, things, cosas, or you go with food, or you go with places, you know. You can pick clothes, you know. I'm going to go with people, you know. So, I'm going to click play. Voy a darle click and play. So, First, yo tengo tiempo, mira, ahí está corriendo el tiempo, entonces tengo, tengo que organizarlo. Uh, ¿Cuál sería aquí? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? 
que voy a utilizar. Ah, fat. He is. He is more fat, fatter or fa fattest. ¿Cuál será la correcta? Fatter. Fatter. Fatter than her. Very good. Now here, ¿cuál será el adjetivo? Thin, tall, beautiful, happy, old, clean, long. Old. Old. He is. He is old, older, more old than her. Older? Older. older than. Okay. You know, you continue like that. Y continúan de esa manera. Okay? So I'm going to send you the link. I'm going to send you the link. You can play as many times as you want. You know, you can change categories. You can change topics. So it's good. You can change it as you want. Okay? Good. So that is the link, okay, for this exercise. Para este ejercicio, right? Also, my dear students, I want to send you, quiero enviarles este link. Remember that this explanation is about comparative. Es es acerca de comparar. Who's ready no to one. hatch some cool right. pets? No, this one. And this one. This video is about superlative. El que vimos hace un momento, that was comparative. This one, it's about superlative. Right. Si tienen el tiempo y lo ven a, o sea, ahorita después de que terminemos clase para que puedan relacionar las reglas, que son muy parecidas, de comparativos y superlativos, nomás cambia la terminación, ¿ok? Just for you to go and review it, you know? It's like, that would be very good, very, very good, ¿ok? And that's it, that is it. Guys, we have five more minutes, tenemos cinco minuticos más, um, that's it, yeah. I want to ask you guys, uh, do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta de lo que les he explicado? ¿Algo? ¿Alguna pregunta en cuanto a, a cómo vamos a proceder con el curso? I'm listening. Los escucho. Wait, something. I don't know. Maybe you, 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 I don't know. What questions you may have? No, teacher, all clear. All good? All clear? Yeah. Sure? Everything okay? Okay, guys. Advice. Un consejo. Sigan el cronograma. No se dejen coger la noche. ¿Listo? Que ay, yo tengo hasta el 3 de octubre y no voy a hacer nada en estos días. Traten de ir estudiando, ir haciendo las cosas con tiempo. ¿Ok? Si ustedes esperan para lo último, me envían todo el 3, el 3 o el 2 de octubre, posiblemente no van a tener oportunidad de corregir si es el caso. Recuerden que para aprobar este curso, ustedes deben, ustedes deben enviar todas las evidencias. Todas. Ese es la, el primer, el primer uh, checkpoint that you need to check, you know. Enviarlas todas, las cuatro que hay que enviar contando la de esta semana y conmigo yo lo manejo así conmigo por lo menos por lo menos deben pasar a probar tres de esas cuatro todos los instructores ellos la gran mayoría deben aprobar las cuatro qué pasa cuando hay exámenes yo ese examen lo dejo pues como si lo toma Bien, o sea, tiene que tomarlo. Si lo pasa, perfecto. Si no lo pasa, pues es, yo sé que es un examen, los nervios, ta, ta, ta. Por eso yo, Leonardo Santos, instructor Leonardo Santos, no todos, yo, para que pasen, tienen que eh, tomar todas las evidencias, las cuatro, y pasar por lo menos tres. Ese examen tienen 30 minutos y tienen dos oportunidades para hacerlo. ¿Ok? Entonces, espero que all good. Okay, guys, thank you very much for coming. That was so good to have you here. See you next week. Thank you, Mr. Santos. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye, take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher.